Hi, Pen fans. This is Brian at EdisonPen.com. I hope that everybody is doing really well. Hey, there is a new pen for the production line that I'm really excited about. Uh, some of you that have been around some of the pen forums or some of the pen blogs may have seen some uh, mentions of this. This new pen will be called the Beaumont. And by the way, if you hear noise in the background, we're making them right now. So that's some machinery running. I apologize for the noise. But uh, this pen will be called the Beaumont. Um, it is actually a smaller pen than what you probably normally have seen from the Edison Pen Company. Um, however, not too small. Let me show you some photos here. So, um, going over to my Smug Mug page, uh, the pen is available in three materials. Uh, here is a black onyx flake, here is bedrock flake, and here is sapphire flake. Um, all these materials, I'm sorry, two of these materials are brand new that I've never used before. The sapphire flake is brand new, the black onyx flake is brand new, and the bedrock flake some of you have, may have seen before in some custom pens that I've made. So as far as overall design and details go, um, let me see if I can get this photo up. I think you can see that it has a black, um, sorry, I'll grab a different photo. It has a black blind cap, black section and then a black finial that has a light bevel to it. Um, I didn't have this in mind but I think the pen is awfully Schaefer-esque. You know when I designed this later on I, I, I saw some Schaefer's and realized that that was, that was definitely true. And one thing that I want to address about this that I like with the design is that I made the section and the barrel relatively thin because I think that aesthetically one of the things that really makes a fountain pen neat is the shape of the fountain pen nib. You know, the shape of a fountain pen nib is just really, really cool. And so what I did with this pen that I think really sets it apart is take a look at, you know, making the uh, section thin, the barrel thin, it makes the nib look oversized. It really allows that shape of the fountain pen nib to take center stage, which I think looks really awesome. So I think that's a neat design feature with this design that I've put together here. Um, now, it is a smaller pen. It's smaller than most Edison pens. However, you know, I want to illustrate how I'm 5'11", I have normal sized hands, and I think in this photo, even unposted, you can see, I don't think that's too, I mean, I don't feel that's too small for my hand, um, but even if that is, you know, someone with larger hands than mine, then in the posted configuration, then of course, I don't think that would, would be any problem in anyone's hand. And the pen is engineered for, you know, fairly deep posting. So, um, anyways, I think that really covers everything with as far as the new pen, the designs. This is a production line pen. You won't be buying this direct from me. You'll be buying this from the retailers. So if you go to edisonpen.com and you click on the production line, you know, you'll see photos of this pen along with all the other pens that are in the uh, production line. Um, and then you'll see the five retailers that are carrying this right now. Anderson Pens, Gold Spot, uh, Goulet Pen Company, I Sell Pens, and also Richard Bender. Um, all of them have the pens in inventory. They're supposed to arrive today. If not, they'll definitely have them first thing tomorrow. So honestly, I think that covers everything with this pen. Let me know if anybody has any questions. Otherwise, um, it's set to go, and these retailers are ready to sell. Okay? Everybody have a good one. See you next time.